Okay, here in part three, um, it says, you saw with your own eyes the great trials, the signs and wonders, the mighty hand and outstretched arm with which the Lord your God brought you out. The Lord your God will do the same to all the peoples you now fear. So it reveals that that's a formula. And he, they brought up the word trials, right? Blessed are you when you're persecuted. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, because it's a trial, it's a test. Okay, so without being persecuted, you don't have to consider that person. They're using privilege and they're in the Olympics and, and the government is, is elevating them, then they couldn't possibly be of God because the children of God are persecuted. Like it says in Paul's letters, all who wish to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. All, including Christ himself in the story and Christ come back in the end, which is me. The Christos, the anointed, waging war with righteousness and justice and not racial supremacy, not nationalism, not liberalism or conservatism or libertarianism, not cult philosophies, not technology, but with truth, the way, the truth, and the life. The foundation is righteousness and justice. The stone the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. He was quoting Psalm 118. All the nations surrounded me in principle, in spirit, culturally, but in the name of the Lord, my top martial arts challenge with the sword of scripture, the spirit of God struck them down. They swarmed around me like bees, like organized harassers. But in the name of God Almighty, I struck them down in principle. Because whose victory is greater? The top martial artists persecuted by the masses of fools? Or the masses of fools that teamed up together like scared little girls afraid to do the work of God when ver in virtue means man? The word crowd does not have a, word, a root in the word virtue. It, the word crowd doesn't have man in it but the word virtue has ver which means man in it in their own language i've proven my point in all their religions i've proven my point in the most respectable activity martial arts i've proven my point even in the word point it's the words in top scrambled and i am the top and they are liars whose philosophies were tail tucked at the most important time in history because there was nothing they could say. There was nothing they could do. Thousands of videos on the internet and all they could do was troll at best because they have no valid point to, counter, to try to counter the top martial artist ever possible. The son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon. What could they say? Could they say that I'm an idiot? I have a college degree. I'm the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon. What could they say? They conceded by their lack of a counter argument. Just like Christ said to Pilate, Without Pilate saying so, he said, you have said so. By their actions, they have said so, and actions speak louder than words. All right, so let's just wrap this up real quickly. I'm being a little bit loud, so I just want to wrap this up and take off. So, moreover, the Lord your God will send the hornet among them until the survivors who hide from you have perished. Do not be terrified by them, for the Lord your God who is among you is a great and awesome God. The Lord your God will drive out those nations before you little by little. You will not be allowed to eliminate them all at once, or the wild animals will multiply around you. But the Lord God will deliver them over to you, throwing them into great confusion until they are destroyed. How did they respond to my top martial arts challenge? Legal and peaceful. They didn't know how to respond because they're confused. Because when faced with the truth and they're living a lie, they have no choice but to be confused. Either concede and obey God through me or be confused and be spiritually destroyed. They, stole, they chose the latter. He will give their kings into your hand and you will wipe out their names from under, the, under heaven. No one will be able to stand up against you. You will destroy them. The images of their gods, their idols, their leaders, you are to burn in the fire, spiritually speaking. Do not cover the silver and gold. Silver means insight, gold means wisdom on them. And do not take it for yourselves or you will be ensnared by it, for it is detestable to the Lord your God. Do not bring a detestable thing into your house or you like it will be set apart for destruction. Regard it as vile and utterly detest it, for it is set apart for destruction. So I've proven definitively, not that people have the heart and the loyalty to God to care, that those who don't obey God through me are set apart for destruction as well as their offspring. It sounds harsh, it sounds cruel, it might sound offensive, but it's called the truth. Thank you.